Good morning. Best view. And in the distance, that's the palace built under Ceausescu's regime. It's now the parliament. But just such an incredible view. We just left the Ukrainian embassy. There's lines set up outside, or a line, for people who are needing papers. And they have tents set up for refugees to sh take shelter. They have bathrooms, they have food. Yeah, they have a truck giving out food. But you know, it's one thing to see it on the news, but to walk up, I mean, just, just right there, we can still see it out of the corner of my eye. Like, it's, it's, it's almost surreal. What got me is walking by the tents and hearing the kids when we first walked by. Yeah. And just thinking, these are. I mean, little kids that are ha have had to flee their homes and don't know when, if ever, they can return. It's a sad thought. What do you wish people like us from the USA, what do you wish we understood? Mm, I don't have enough time to <laughs> tell you what I wish. I don't wish bad things. I wish for everybody to travel to Romania to Russia to wherever and try to live there for a couple of months, try to understand the people, yes. try to look in their history. It's easy to look at the people of the world from the United States. Yeah. But it's you will be surprised. It's a completely different world of there. Yeah. Less than a month ago, they had over 800 people lined up outside of this building. That image we just saw, it's gonna stick in my brain for a long time. Yeah. Lex is hypothermic. <laughs> it's good, right? It's so good. Mango, pineapple, something smoothie. Like something like beautiful. You would never know we just sit out in the rain. Oh yes, 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 yes. The crazy thing about this building is that everything in here was either produced or made in Romania. They built a factory just for these ridiculously large rugs in this building. That's it. One factory, hundreds of workers, just to make rugs for this building. That rug weighs more than three tons. Three tons. Also, Nikolai Ceausescu wanted 
that to be a skylight that would open so he could enter from the ceiling without having to go outside. Michael Jackson stood right here and said, let's go what he said. Uh, Budapest, I love you? Yeah. yeah. Okay. But this is not Budapest. This is Bucharest with a CH. Major. Yikes. Just toured the palace. We barely made it in time, <laughs> but we did. What'd you think? Everything was overwhelmingly extravagant. Yeah. And it, like, the parts we saw, it felt like the biggest building I've ever been in. Yeah. Might have been. <laughs> but apparently, we only saw. That's definitely the biggest building. Actually, it's not as big as the Pentagon, and I have been in the been Pentagon, so that's... But that's beside the point. We only saw 4% of the building. The tour only goes to 4%. <laughs> and... It's mind-blowing. How many rooms did we see? Like, 10 massive rooms, massive hallways. That have nothing in them. They're just... It's just empty. The person who they built this for, Chantescu, he... Um, didn't even live to come and the finish building. Yeah. yeah. But anyways, I'm like, what was he going to use all of that for? Mm -hmm. The sad and crazy part about all this is this incredibly large, overwhelming, imposing building that was built with all the nicest things at the time it was built during a time when there were lines on the street of people just waiting to get food. Yeah. I mean, the, the people during this communist rule were really struggling. They were told that they were getting equal, you know, rations. Yeah. And I mean, you can read online. There were some people who, who enjoyed that period. But um, it definitely wasn't easy. And when you, when you look at everything that was happening, it's like, wow. On one hand, you have, like, this massive building being constructed. And then on the other, it's like people who are struggling to put food on the table. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. terrible. Cool factoid. So from the road, I think you can see like, is it four levels? I think four. To the building? And apparently it goes down six levels. Or more. Or more. Word on the street is it's just a parking garage, but maybe there's some other hey, it's efficient. nuclear bunker under there. That's also, what it was meant for. It was meant for a bunker. Oh, really? Yeah. Also, it's worth noting that um, the, the whole building isn't completely wasted. On one level, there are current uh, government offices. One level out of the one. probably 15. Yeah, so uh, still basically uh, pretty much a waste, but um, crazy. Such a paradox. This building has to be impossible to maintain. It's just kind of sad. I mean, there's parts out here just kind of falling apart. And then you have that ridiculous building. That. The heaviest building on the planet. On the face of planet Earth. <laughs> That right there is the heaviest building. Do you know how much it weighs? Let's guess. <laughs> I think it weighs... I'm gonna say... In, like, in tons, maybe? Yeah, let's do tons. Okay, so if one of those rugs weighs four tons, which a ton is a thousand... It's two thousand pounds. Two thousand. Yeah. Let's say it at the same time so our answers can't influence each other. Okay. 
probably gonna be way off because I'm always bad at judging these things. Okay, you ready? No. I need another Three, in my brain. Hold on, two. Hold on. You're pressuring me. <laughs> Three. So bad. I don't know. Three, two, one, eighty thousand. Okay, wait. So what was yours? <laughs> two hundred thousand tons. Two hundred thousand tons. My guess is eighty thousand tons. All right, let's look it up. How much does the building weigh? <laughs> We've tallied the results. We is in Alexa. And this building weighs? According to my calculations. Which I don't know if I did it correctly. 4.5 million tons. What? I, we were both way off. You got it. I, I still was higher than you. No, it's closer. Uh, <laughs> I wasn't confident in my answer though. I should have been more confident. I was way off. <laughs> I, I was about to guess 10,000 tons at first. Really? Yeah, it was, that's way too low. That's Shouty insane. thick. Shouty thick. Oh my. She built different. Okay, so we're walking up on this church. It's not completed yet. Uh, it was supposed to be completed like four years ago. But this will be the largest Eastern Orthodox Church in the world by volume and area. It's not the tallest, but it's the largest. Also, it has six bells, and the largest bell will be the largest freestanding bell in the world. Guess how much the bell's gonna ring, uh, ring. <laughs> Guess how much the bell's gonna weigh. Do it in, in tons. Pounds? No, tons. I'm gonna go with... This is also hard to judge. Where is it going to be? I guess in that middle of the dome up there. Let's get the dome. That up there. So okay. it will be it will be the largest church in the world. The tallest church in the world with a uh, dome that size on top. This is like, Random I feel like you're trivia. getting really specific now. Yeah. Um, okay, so back to the bell. I'm gonna go with 10,000 tons. Just the bell. So, man, this is disappointing. It's actually 25. <laughs> See, that building threw me off. Yeah, they built 4.5 million tons, and then you got a mere 25 tons sitting next to it. It just it dwarfs it. Yeah, I'm I 25 thought, ton I, bell though. It's just I a bell. I thought about the carpet though. How do you transport a 25 ton bell? Like Yeah. Also, how do you get around this building? Oh my gosh. It is cool to note that the communist regime under Ceausescu uh, he was very wary of the church because he wanted everyone's loyalty to be to, toward him and his regime. So it's cool to note that this church is on the same square as what would have been Ceausescu's palace and the church is going to be taller. Yeah. But a lot of people say that the Romanian Orthodox Church is also corrupt and there's a lot of questions around that too. So. Yeah. Just imagine building this scaffolding. Education with Alexa. So if you look up at the domes, on top of all of the buildings, or... Yes. All of the parts. <laughs> There's um, multiple domes. They're made... No. They're coated in pure gold. Pure gold? Pure gold, ladies and gentlemen. Just think how many gold teeth you can make with all that. Or gold or rings. Or how many people you could bless or impact 
as the church with the money that you use to go to impure gold. Preach. Uh, I can't wow. handle it. Wow, Miss Adam's going off. Man up here. There she is. We have Mount Rushmore. The Romanians have a bunch of heads. Okay, is it just saying, do these not look funny at all? Yeah. Max. Pac. Paco de Hedestral. Absolutely beautiful. It's supper time. I just took the same video, but I wasn't actually recording. <laughs> this is incredible. Are we in Paris or Romania? Nobody knows! Wow, wow this video is actually really good. Say something meaningful. Tell me this isn't incredible. There was a, a really pretty sunset too. This is awesome. Bucharest is underrated. It really is. Like the park, the arc, all the people. Park, park. So many of the things we've done, like it's a really it's a really sweet place. It is. Met some incredible people. Oh my. Yes. We love them. Like, we're gonna be back. We love this place. I can already tell they're gonna be lifelong friends. I hope. You heard it. Okay. <laughs> hey. Well, much love, Bucharest. Come to Bucharest. Yeah. Come to Romania. It's awesome. Subscribe, please. <laughs> yeah, please. And in true Romanian fashion. Pa. I think. Pa. Pa. I think that's fine. Pa. We think. We're like 90% sure. Okay, you ready? Three, two, one, pop. Oh. oh. <laughs> okay. The video's over. <laughs> But it was it was necessary. Protecting the hair.